Hello everybody, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Gunmo, this is Christopher James, and this is our new co-host, Matt. Hey guys. And we cover everything Admirals and Paris related. He is the Florida Everglades guy. I try. <laughs> he will he will try his best to keep up with it. If you don't see videos, you will see posts. Yep. Yes. The least He's our thing... correspondent for Florida. Yes. <laughs> Only if we look outside, it's um, snowy, snowy Wisconsin. <laughs> All right, anyways, you should visit our friends at... Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You can get all your hockey apparel needs. Skates, sticks, pucks, jerseys, goalie gloves, pads. Referees, Referees are not hockey players. <laughs> but they sell their equipment at Hockey Locker. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes, they do. They also sell figure skating equipment and inline hockey, or um, roller hockey, for that yeah. matter. Um, so you have all those needs. Um, today, the Milwaukee Admirals played the Rockford, Rockford Ice Hogs. Hogs, or um, who are the far- break that down. Who are the farm system to the Chicago Blackhawks? Yeah, we were actually at that game live, all of us. It was. Uh, um, if you go look at Christopher Drives on Facebook or myself, Daniel Goodwill. Um, you will see us both being <coughs> by a mascot. Yeah, yeah. it was fun. It was, it was fun. fun. We actually did. Um, we asked all, him, and he's like, okay. In all fairness, we asked him out of respect for us, for their fans, and out of, you know, all funness between the rivalry. Yeah, yeah. some of the fans looked at it. It's kind of weird what we did it, but hey, it was just because we wanted to have fun with a mascot. And, and he had an interaction with him. And yeah, the uh, hammy rubbed my stomach for good luck because apparently <laughs> they were looking for some good luck. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it did not chill. <laughs> well, they got one goal. All right, the one thing um, before we get into this show, um, uh, Igor Shostorkin and Jonas Johansson, who were to, uh, the first place goalie and the second, third place goalie in the AHL, were both recalled by their parent club. Yep. So the top two goalies um, not recalled in the AHL are Connor Ingram and Troy Grossny, both of your Ooh. Milwaukee Admirals. Stick taps yeah. to that, boys. <laughs> yeah. This was no easy task. Troy and Connor Ingram are both all-star worthy. Uh, I guess Troy Connor went... was the representative for us this year. And last year, the representative for the Admirals sure. was Troy Grosnick. Uh, so Brookfield best, uh, <laughs> better than Milwaukee's. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's always good to take a shot at Milwaukee's best. <laughs> uh, I, I'm not a fan of that beer. Not sponsored. Yeah. <laughs> but we are a fan of the Admirals. Yes. Oh yeah. Um. So in this game, Ufka. And yeah, that's one don't, way to don't, put don't, it. Don't, don't kill the way I was going to set it up. All right, well, the shots on goal, we outshot Rockford by 20. It was 48-28. That's a pretty big uh, shots on goal, like <laughs> differential. I mean, the power play for Rockford was only 0 for 3. Milwaukee was 4 for 6, which is crazy because last night they were three for three on the power play so add four more power play goals yeah and uh rockford had nine penalties for 29 minutes milwaukee had five for 13. um this was uh just one of them games like literally milwaukee uh outplayed rockford they really did like we came in with some intensity and we came in with the energy that we came out with yesterday Mm -hmm. and it was it was something to be behold um you know, when you outshoot a team by 20 shots yeah. and 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 do that and get four power play goals, and, and, and the real kicker is, and when you look at the points that our team put up in a seven-goal game, um, uh, including assists, we had 20 statistical points yeah. in a seven-goal game. <laughs> yeah, he, so, just, uh, he just said what I wasn't trying to have him say until he started reading off. People, you know, <laughs> try not to give away the score so that way people don't click off our video. You <laughs> well, the, you can you can stick around and pay attention to our goofiness. <laughs> All right, uh, you want me to read these, seeing how you did the last game? Um, you can read the first period. Um, you can take the second. I'll take the third. Sure. Um, well, yeah, that works for me. All right. Well, Ellie Tovenin got the uh, scoring started with his 12th of the year with an assist from Matt Donovan, his 19th. And then Rem Pitlick got his 15th of the year with an assist from Alex Carrier and Frederick Goudreau. Game winner. Yeah, uh, <laughs> Carrier is 26th and Goudreau is 12th. Breaking news, Daniel Carr is good at hockey. He registered his 19th goal of the year with
with an assist from Tommy Novak, who's 19th, and Cole Schneider is 23rd. Cole Schneider has been on a tear. And then Brandon Hagel for the Ice Hogs uh, got his 16th of the year with an assist from Dylan Sakura, his 12th, and Mackenzie Entwistle, his 11th. Next up, second period, go. All right, so second period, we had Cole Schneider with his 13th goal, and we also had Jeremy Davies on the assist for his 16th and Tommy Novak for his 20th. In addition, we also had uh, Matt Donovan with his fourth goal of the season and Ellie Tovenin with his 11th assist and Tommy Novak with his 21st. Also, I want to give big props to um, Aaron Sims, the Admirals radio play-by-play -play <laughs> guy. Go ahead, um, go ahead. Uh, the Admirals quoted him on Twitter and said with the Cole Schneider goal that the closest defender to Cole Schneider was in Beloit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke only uh, Illinois and Wisconsin people know. Yeah, um, just so you know, it's Beloit so is a 30-minute drive to Rockford. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good border skip. Like All right, right anyways, there. in third period, oh, yeah, that the, Donovan goal was a power play goal, by the way. Oh, that, by the way, right. so in the third, um, both goals were on the power play. Illy Tovenin scored his 13th with an assist from Matt Donovan, his 20th, and Tommy Novak, his 22nd. Novak got his third assist of the night. And then Jeremy Davies got his third goal of the year with an assist from Frederick Allard, his 16th, and Mika Salamaki, his 8th. It's good to see Salamaki back on the stat sheet. And that was on the power play. The one thing we did want to talk about is the Ian McCaution michael McCarran incident. Yeah, it was... It's a talking point before we get into the goaltending. Yes. Um, and, and, and this is something I think that all of us can say... There is no place in this current way that hockey is played for a cheap shot from behind to happen, period. Yeah. I understand, period. I understand there's a heat of the moment thing, but again, Michael McCarron knows exactly like what's at stake here. He knows that the, the, the heat of the element, he knows of the rivalry, but you're absolutely right. You cannot be checking people into the boards like that. Yeah, that was a hard check, man. And again, the 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 the, the following outcome that resulted is exactly what like you, there's no other there's no other way that you could say that it wasn't coming. Like, here's the thing: he didn't even check him in the boards. He hit him from the side. Yeah, just a blind him, side. Yeah, and and here's the thing: when you blindside hit somebody and it's clean, yeah. guess whose fault that is? That's theirs. That's their guy's fault for not keeping his head up. Mm -hmm. And that's also his teammate's fault. His mm -hmm. teammates should be looking in the mirror going, you should be you, you should be yelling at your guy. And, you know, guy coming, uh, yeah. left side, right side. Mm -hmm. And so that they know where the check's coming from so that they right. can at least prepare themselves. Mm -hmm. The one thing I do pride him on is he did not finish his check into the boards. Right. He, che he checked him into the ice, which was clean. Then the guy got up, chased him around the ice for a little bit, and um, yeah, I'm at least and glad he, that and then a, he goes off the ice to go go for a change. Yeah, and you just sucker punch him in the back of the head. Yeah, that's not called for in no, this game. No, it's not. And, and and I would not be surprised to see a league go one game. Yeah, I'm not saying it's worth more than one because it wasn't like he was hurt. It wasn't like it was just a cheap shot. And it's a cheap shot, yeah. and you give a slap on the wrist for that just to go, hey, don't do it again. Which, again, you, like, you get into the heat of the moment of these things, and you got to remember, like, he, again, I understand that Michael McCarron is ecstatic to be up in this club. Mm. He is downright ecstatic to be in this club. But you've got to keep a level head. If you're not going to do that, you're not going to get these call-ups. He, yeah. he wants to play in Nashville. He made, he's made that adamantly clear. He wants to be up at the top. But you cannot make these utterly like crazy mistakes yeah. the the one thing about the hit i think we can all agree on it wasn't dirty it was a clean hit it was, it was a clean, clean hit. hit it was just a big i think he, i think he thing. caught himself like okay i need to like do this he tried to pull up and it was so. it was too late yeah and full speed ahead and bam. It, it's one of those if you're playing a hockey game and you're when you're playing this sport there is no pulling up if you pull up you get hurt yeah, yeah. And it's you or the other guy. Mm -hmm. And that's the sad part. Kill or be killed. Kill or be killed. It's the sad truth of this game. So goaltending, in, or three stars in this game, were Cole Schneider with a goal and an assist, Matt Donovan with two assists and a goal, and Ellie Tolvanen with a goal 
or two goals and one assist. Also, our number like like just to get on to, to the Ellie Tolvanen thing, he's our first star. He's the first star of this game, and like Ellie Tolvanen has been given a little bit of a rough check, like uh, in by most, by our fan base. By our fan base, yeah, and including by us. Yeah, because right. here's the thing. Uh, it's our job as podcasters to be critical of your play. In your first eight games, you gave me nothing. Mm-hmm. In your last eight games, you've given me everything to back off of you. Really? Mm-hmm. And and that's the thing. When 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 I was on Carrier's um, list, I, I was literally on him last year about check. And he helped carry us to the playoffs last year. Mm-hmm. Yes. So when I say that, you know, I only critique you because I see what you need to fix. All right. Well, let's. Uh... Carry it yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. All right, carry. so into our yeah. into our <laughs> goaltending matchup. Um, Matt Tompkins stopped 41 of 48. <sighs> we broke that goalie. I'm sorry. Um, you know, I'm gonna say this, and 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 I'm being as nice as I, I can. I don't know why Rockford kept him in. We were torturing him after the second. I don't know. If they should have ganked him. I don't know if there was really any option other than you know because Dalia got smoked. After seven rounds in the in the, the shootout last night. Yeah. So I mean, it, it, he could have been dead tired. That's yeah. exactly it. Like that game ran super late. I'm sure. But who else would they have had? Like besides Delia. Um, they have um um Lankin in, but I believe he got called up for an injury. Uh, yeah. So, so maybe, yeah, maybe they would have had to go to their so they would have been stuck. Back yeah. So, and the, the one thing I guess I'll say, um, I, I'm normally not one for critiquing um, an opposing team's coaching staff. <laughs> Jeez, they uh, they got to get their stuff together. But the way, okay, the way you run a power play, one, one, one here, and then a guy in the, in the front, and then you have a guy who floats. Mm-hmm. Who moves where the puck opposite where the puck is? Yeah, basically, He's a basically the puck spy. Yep, and that's a good way to look at yeah. the puck spy. Okay, yeah. Rockford's power play: two guys behind the net, one on one on the side, so, and then two, uh, two defensemen up top. I was talking about this with uh, because this reminded me of like how uh, Admiral's power plays were uh, back in the Dean Evison era. Where it's just like, okay, where's the puck? Where's the puck? And then no one knows where to shoot. No one knows where to execute. It looks, everybody's on their own personal little island and just lost. Yeah. You're, you're, and, and that's the thing. When you're, when, um, when me and you stand at these games, yeah. we can hear the communication between the players. We don't hear communication from Rockford, but we hear Milwaukee talking to each other. The only time Rockford communicates with each other is when they're in their own zone yeah. and an Admiral's player is pinching. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah. And and the bad part about it is, is, you know, I'm saying, I'm saying wheel, and th- their guy says straight up. Wheel means go around the boards. Uh, straight up means fire down the ice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, if you, you finish off the goalie before you uh, cur- continue your critique of uh, their. Uh, yeah. All right. So Connor Ingram was in net. He stopped twenty-seven and twenty-eight with one goal against. Yeah. yeah. I'm um, sorry, I'm just trying to keep this show yeah, from yeah, going yeah, off yeah, the rails. Yeah. Um, I'm just trying to say that, you know, um, if you're gonna if you're gonna sit here and say, you know, Rockford is a better team than what their coach is showing us. Yeah. You and me are we can attest to that. We know Rockford has some talented players yeah. on the squad. In fact, one of them was the one that scored tonight's goal. Yeah, Brendan Hagel is a good hockey player. Yeah, he is. May not be... the Kerr brothers, too. Seriously. Yeah, absolutely. And Mackenzie Entwistle's no and, slouch. Yeah. Nah, he's actually really good. So they have their players. You also have, a, was that Lucas Carlson on D, who's a good point getter for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Ian McCaution, he, he he's a good uh, physical guy that mm-hmm. you have on your back end. But l- them losing Dennis Gilbert um, recently did hurt them big. Yeah. Hey, Dan, you want to hear something funny? There's what? only one guy on your crap list. Take a guess who it is. Carry it. You got her up a <laughs> negative one. <laughs> <laughs> like, there's, like every, there's a bunch of zeros, but that's better than a negative. Yeah. So, I'm, yeah I, wait, hang on. Tell me how this works, list. though. Tell me how this works, okay? Carry is a minus one with an assist. With one goal against. Mm-hmm. Huh. So, tell me how this works. Oh, wait, that's right. He got the point on the power play. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, here's the thing. He got scored on an even strength, but he got it back. Yep. Yeah. That's all that matters. 
here's the thing. You made he made up for it on the power play. Mm -hmm. So he 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 did his job. And you can't always expect him to play up to have going from having Tenority to Josh Healy. Right. There's a big difference between six foot three Tenority, six foot one Josh Healy. Yeah. Just saying. There's just uh, I mean they play similar. <laughs> Right. But there's a big difference in, in size. Right, right. So I'm just saying that. So I, I'm still saying I'm glad that they came out of the All-Star break hungry. Yeah. Oh, God, yes. Ready to go to a buffet and run them out of business. No, I mean, they're ready we, to go to B. Peru and I'll help B. Peru out. <laughs> yes. B. Peru, hint, we, hint. Can we do another mention for Cole Schneider while we're on it? Like how he's been just completely coming out of the gate post uh, post injury and just... Yeah. Post injury, post all star break. Post all star break. And, and and okay, yesterday two goals, two assists. Tonight one goal, one assist, and a plus two. There is one goal I want to like. If you look at tonight's highlight reel, which they was that the Admirals have put out on the, Twitter or not on Twitter. Well, it is on, on, on Twitter on, and on their social media. Yeah. Yes, there is a goal out there that it is just perfect because I I just love it because Cole Schneider's standing. Uh, I want to say his blocker side or his glove side. And uh, he's just sitting there waiting, about to take this puck in, and then just taps it right in. Yeah. No, like yeah. does a little, does a little, not, what is it calls for the puck and just puts it right in. And it's just like one of those those situations where that still leads back to one thing: coaching. Mm -hmm. You cannot have all these young players and not coach them for success. Which absolutely shows there's a dynamic. Uh, trio going on between Taylor Ford and uh, and Rollo right now, where it, you, it, it's, it's a force to be cohesive unit. Like yes. everybody's gelling together. And that, very that well. includes Scott Nickel, Poyle, yes. um, and then you go up to John Hines, and mm -hmm. you it's it's just all the way up the board with with Nashville and Milwaukee. But the Predators, they still seem disjointed a tad bit. It's like That's Milwaukee true. has the cohesiveness, and the Predators are still looking. You know, there's something but every not once, right up here. Every once in a while, you you, you there is you're right, yeah. serious. There's something yeah. not right at the top. Yeah, like, yeah we got there's, everything working. There's a there's a button here. jam somewhere in that controller in Nashville. Yeah, yeah. And you just like, gotta, someone's got to just take the, take the the screws out and blow out the dust. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, and 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 this is the thing, they will figure that out. Yes. They will figure out what the problem is, and they will fix it, whether it be now, at the deadline. Or in the off season, mm -hmm. they will find what the issue is. They will address it and come back next year. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. With with this and with this sport and any sport, guess what? Last year for Packer fans was a miserable year. This year, this year, we came, we came one game short of a Super Bowl. A new coach with a new coach. And a banged up roster. Yeah. So yeah, maybe we just gotta like uh... trust the process. It's yeah. always about trusting the process. It's not. Trust. It's not an easy thing. That's the thing. Like, and yes, it will. Patience, it, it, it does. Hopper. It does Patience. test the fandom. It does test your fandom. But sure. you have to be willing to at least accommodate it. And yes, you can get angry after a while when the, it doesn't work anymore. If you're still yeah. doing the same exact thing. You can be upset with it. What's the definition of insanity? Doing the same, same thing, thing over, over and over again, expecting a different result. Yeah. So, yeah. It's just one of those situations yeah. but in Nashville. Um, so, uh, anything else you guys want to add as far as our, our 17 um, goal weekend? and 14? Well, where do you keep getting 17 from? Well, well we, I, I, I we get... wanted 17. <laughs> we, <laughs> we want more. We want more. Oh, I forgot. We, we scored some more. Wait, we scored goals at Beef Roo with a uh, nice, nice uh, beef and not cheddar. sponsored, not we, sponsored, not a sponsor, but we do love it. We man. do love it. Hey, we're well, hey, it's we're a cheap plug. Looking. <laughs> it's a cheap plug. <laughs> yeah, we're always looking, though. We are always looking. But um, no. Uh, other gotta... than that, I think we pretty much covered it. Anyways, the attendance for tonight's game at the BMO Harris Bank Center in Rockford, Illinois, was four thousand six hundred and seventeen. Lots of Admirals fans. Yeah, too. we do travel well. I do like this. Um, referees were Dan Kelly and Peter Tarnas. Um, linesmen were William Hancock and Jonathan Sedlak. Um, this year, so far, continuing on to this trend yeah. of beating Illinois teams, Yeah. Um, 
We are 6-0-1-0 against Rockford. No wonder the Rockford fans were like, crap, you guys are here again? Ah. <laughs> um, in the last five games, the Admirals are 5-0. and In the last five games for uh, Rockford, they're 0-5. I do feel for Rockford. I hope their fan base, with everything going on, I'm pretty sure it does. It I the, feel for them. I really I do. do. Uh, um, because after your experience, uh, you know, let's talk about that a bit. What was your thoughts of Rockford's fans in their arena? Rockford, like, because I was able to sit with uh, another one of our uh, section buddies of 228. So, um, I, like, it's it's a lovely arena. I love this arena. It's so nice. It's so open. The fans themselves are just as passionate as we are. And they're always looking for a good game. They always None, of, the none of the diehards left till about one minute. Yeah, no, not really. You're down by by what six? Yeah, they stayed. And they stayed. And until... They stayed pretty well into the third period, honestly. Like I, I didn't really see much of a you know rushing to the. Had it been us, everybody would have been. Yeah, <laughs> I, just, I, just, I, just, yeah, yeah I just love the fact that how we all get along, like opposing fans and the home fans. We all just well, get along. sometimes it just takes a common rival. Yeah, yeah. yeah. seriously, <laughs> a certain team. Yeah, they, uh, a I certain really, team over there at um, like, Rosemont. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, the good old air was it the good old O'Hare uh, air hanger? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, known as the um. What is that the Allstate Arena? Yeah. yeah. All right. Anyways. Uh. Yeah. Was that your first time in Rockford? That's right? my first ever AHL road game. Oh. Oh, cool. So I got to do that. Yeah, I don't well, know. I'm glad I, you had fun. Thanks. I don't know if I'll do an all-state visit. I, really I want don't. to just because I like visiting different arenas. That's true. That's just a I'll hobby that. I have. All I do is I mean, if, like I'm in, if I'm in the business of getting extra plane tickets, I might go. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I did want to say that, you know, as, as bad as I do feel for, for Rockford, let's just take a look at Tyler Secura with 28 points, Brendan yeah. Hagel with 24 yeah, points, Dylan Secura with 23 points. You know, um, Mackenzie Entwistle with 20 points and Jacob Nielsen with 18. This, yeah, right there. This is your ta- this is your this is your solid guys right here. And and, and I, they're and, young too, so yeah. you could build on that. And, and they and, should be in Chicago. I mean, when we when we see these guys come up to uh, the was it the Panther Arena? Yeah. They're playing their hearts out. They're not yeah. like laying down for anybody. Yeah, they lost in recent games, but they're not just the giving Sakura, up. The Sakura brothers should and be Chicago's the, answer to the Sadine brothers. Right. The the one should thing I, I did do is I'm gonna give a tip of the cap there to Mackenzie Entwistle because they they knew it was over and they kept playing. He kept going. He they kept going. Yeah. I say that's worthy of a stick tip, honestly. Really. Yeah, because honestly. his. His work hard, drive, and you know what? That's the thing. Yeah, you had a fight with John, with with, with that Healy, yeah, Josh yeah. Healy. You picked our one of our toughest defensemen, and, and you went, went after him. When you went toe to toe with him, you actually got the takedown. Yeah, wasn't a knockout or anything, no, but you did get the takedown. Yeah. Yeah. So that gives you the win in the fight, yeah. and and that hopefully can propel Rockford into momentum yeah. going into their next game. Yeah, because I wanted some competition tonight. I wasn't expecting tonight, but no. as soon as I saw Ingram, I'm like, oh crap, they don't stand a chance. <laughs> yeah, I, it, it's Ingram. it's hard. Ingram, what, he's like he right only now. gives up like two goals at the yeah. most. It seems it's Ingram. like Troy he, sweet spots about there, three. It seems. There was one a couple weeks ago where it was like. I, I guess he like, was a little off. Yeah, yeah, where he was going behind the crease trying to go after a puck, and that ended up. He was overplaying his. Ability. Yeah, but again, you get into a heat of the moment again. Heat of the moment moment. Or, it's yeah, a, a, a young player mistake. Yeah, yeah. and he's twenty two. So he's, he's go got on. he's got plenty of years left. Oh to, yeah, to I go. can't wait to watch him develop. Yeah, and absolutely. Make it to the show. And and this is the thing. Hey, is uh, that what they call it in uh, hockey? If you get caught up, you made it to the show. Yeah. Because I thought that was solely a baseball term. <laughs> no, hockey has the same thing. We're like a triple A thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah pretty much. Yeah, because uh, we got uh, below us. We got the below the ECHL. You got the SPHL, and they have their affiliates. All right. Well, anyways, I think we should like probably wrap her up. Yep. Um. So this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel. This is Chris. This is Matt. And our show is brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker. Spend money. They like that. You can also pick up one of these wonderful shirts. Got the phone number on the back. Yeah. Click subscribe on YouTube. Watch Click our that videos. Bell. Hit the little bell. Uh, obviously, watch our videos on Facebook. 
Check out our next video, which will be in the system. We will cover everything Predators, Admirals, and Florida. Everybody's and he's related. gonna be more of a full time fixture or a active, more active. Yeah. I'll put it. Like, I'll put if it I'm more active. If I'm not gonna be on the videos as much, I'll be doing stuff uh, Facebook. like Facebook, like Facebook with the posts, keeping up with it. Because I know, like Florida, I said this in the last video. Florida doesn't really do much of the highlight videos or but, social media stuff. Or, very social rare. media is pretty limited, but they do a pretty good box score. But I'm gonna basically go deep in that and start establishing a little bit more on that because so, yeah. we got some good players. He's our Florida correspondent. Hey, we got and, more uh, hands helping us, giving you guys better show. And also, he's uh, he's always invited on the show. And and yep. uh, any of you who watch who are in the Milwaukee area, all you have to do is contact one, our 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 podcast or one of us, and we'll make it work. Yeah, you can find us on Facebook. I'm no stranger. If you want to send me a friend request, go for it. I'll accept it. Um, I, him too. Yeah. But don't find him at a hockey game. He's like a ghost. He's like everywhere. <laughs> I'm like Casper. <laughs> you can find me easily, but at a hockey game. I'm very friendly if you actually. Here's the thing. If you, and, and maybe I should explain this a little bit before we do this. Okay. okay. If you're going to approach me at a game and I look like I'm one track zoning, Go in front of me. Don't go, hey, Daniel, behind me. Yeah, he won't look. This is why I sit in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> Which yeah, next year, I'll be next like to you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, Daniel has tunnel vision at the game. He's like a laser, and it's just like focused on his target. Like, I'm going there. But that's the hockey pl former hockey player in me yeah. as well. I'm a goalie. Not, I have not that. He's antisocial, but he does have tunnel vision sometimes. I mean, like, like for me, it's always like a puck in with the, watching the puck is just like a tennis match. Like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I feel like I'm watch. It's almost like watching um, what is that? Pong. Yeah, it's like, yeah, exactly. It. Wow, you're old school on that Atari. Anyways, guys, uh, spend the money on hockey locker. We'll see y'all later. Peace.